He is Reno Diamond. Reno Diamond is here. The crowd is excited to see him as they always are. Your referee for this contest is Slick. Did, did we ever figure out if Slick had a last name? Doesn't matter, his name is Slick. Reno show the love crowd to his fans. loves him. He is Reno Diamond. This is for the Committed to Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Reno Diamond. He's got a huge challenge in front of him. He's fighting a human juggernaut here. Announced earlier in tonight, Chris Lex. Not able to compete tonight because of what happened at the end of last month's show. His replacement is the human juggernaut, Bishop Cage. This man is one of the most intimidating professional wrestlers I have ever gotten to see live. He is back again. He is the human juggernaut, Bishop Cage. Stalking Reno Diamond, the outside of this ring. Bishop Cage is here. Sl luckily sliding back into the title hunt. Having some words with Reno Diamond already, and he's jumping up in the ring here. Reno Diamond has a challenge ahead of him tonight, the human juggernaut. Bishop Cage. Jason, what is Reno going to have to do to beat someone like Bishop Cage? He's going to have to take his legs out. That's the easiest thing to do. That's going to be pretty difficult, but um, take the legs out of the giant. He'll fall. Bishop Cage here with his impressive physique. Here's Mr. Marco Rose. Marco Rose Holding coming out with the Committed to Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship showing off for the cameras. This match is for the Committed to Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful title is here in front of us. It's a beautiful title. This contest is one fall for the World Heavyweight Championship here at Committed to Wrestling. Marco Rose is ha having a seat next to us. I feel honored right now. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I feel a little honored he's going to sit next to us. Thought he was. Reno Diamond in the blue trunks with the gray. The human juggernaut, Bishop Cage, black. Singlet. And here we go, folks. This match is for your World Heavyweight Championship here at Committed to Wrestling. Crowd is behind Reno Diamond, and Bishop Cage just does not care and is laughing it off. Two men circling each other here. No love lost between Reno Diamond and Bishop Cage, and Bishop Cage showing his power early as he backs Reno into the corner. 
Goes for a chop, but hits the turn back. It didn't even phase him. No, it's not. Reno doesn't want any of that. He knows what to expect. You think he might have been studying Bishop Cage in the offseason? I think he's been watching the tape here. He's been watching the tape. Bishop Cage and Reno Diamond. Lock it up here again. Bishop is just so much more powerful than Reno. Got him backed up. A huge shoulder block into the top. And another one driving his shoulder into the gut of Reno Diamond. Goes for a punch, misses. Now Reno Diamond on the attack there. A hard shot to the face. And Bishop Cage is kind of shrugging him off and now is arguing with Slick here. And Bishop Cage, it's like that shot didn't even happen. It's like his, he, he just, he, he barely felt it. His name stands for itself, man, him and Juggernaut. Another lockup here. Bishop Cage is just so much more powerful. I think Reno is, needs to stop going for this and needs to get on a more of a fast, quick pace attack and a hard to shot to the Punching, punches right into the gut. Folks, I've been watching wrestling for about 30 years. I I've think been, his grand, I think his grandparents felt that. I've been watching wrestling for 30 years. I have never heard a chop that hard. The referee, Slick, is even in pain right now. Reno Diamond throws a microphone into the ring. He's re recollecting himself after taking such a hard shot right into his chest. I'm, it's amazing his chest didn't cave in from that huge ham hock of a hand that Bishop Cage has. I'm surprised you don't see a hand pin on his chest. That's going to hurt later. Uh, he is definitely going to be feeling that one later. He's going to feel that in the morning. Reno still trying to shake off the shot here. Looks like we may Bishop is calling for his test of strength. No, that's not even fair. Bishop knows he's gonna beat him up. Reno Diamond considering not one to leave himself too open from attack. That's a trap, bro. Don't do that. He's throwing up his other hand here. He's trying to get into the head of Reno Diamond. Hard slap to the face. That's one way to stop a test of strength right there. Hard shot to the face. <laughs> Reno getting out the way. Reno collecting himself on the outside here, taking a quick break. Bishop Cage is not happy. He's wanting Reno Diamond back in this ring, but Reno taking his time. Slick is going to start his 10 count. Reno taking his time getting in the ring. I don't, I don't think it works like that, Reno. I don't think you just say sorry like you didn't just slap Reno the Diamond, his now, now he's back in the ring. Bishop Cage is going after him, and he, he's, he's trying to upset the monster here. He's got running around the ring, maybe trying to get Bishop winded. That's a good strategy. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. Hard Ooh. drop kick from Reno Diamond, and now Reno is on the attack, and Bishop Cage is this in is the corner. This is what he needs to do to bring the monster down. He needs down. to get after him and get after him quick, and that's what he is doing, folks. What a slap to the face. Don't let up. Don't let up. Do not wait too long. Don't give him time. You're going to let the monster time. recuperate here. Hard knee to the head of Bishop. No, don't say crotch. Oh, don't say the that, crotch. Well, that was to the crotch, folks, and that, that's one way of bringing a monster down. Coming for the cover here. One, two, cut, kick out at two. And he needs to stay on top of him because if Bishop Cage gets a chance, he's going to get really upset about that crotch shot. Reno trying to slam uh, him, but I, I don't think, think this gonna he's going to have the strength to get up someone like Bishop Cage. Bishop Cage goes reverse, but he's reversing it. One, two, small package. Almost got him. Jeez, he, he was, look at that clothesline, man. He was just turned inside out. One of the hardest clotheslines you'll ever see. And now the juggernaut is back on top, and he's taking Diamond into the corner and throws him into the other one so hard that Reno just bounces off. This is not where Reno wants to be. Bishop Cage now on the attack and smelling blood in the water. Reno! 
Leg drop across the apron. Shades of Undertaker. Reno, that's like having a, I can't even describe what's dropped across your chest right there. A giant tree log? That, uh, that's a tree trunk. Dropped across his chest. One, two, kick out at two. And Bishop Cage has some words for Slick, thinking it was a three count, but it's only two. Two men get back to their feet, and now they're just, Bishop Cage is throwing a hard shot, and Reno answers right back. Back again is Bishop K, and then another hard shot by Reno Diamond. Ooh, hard boot to the face, or right into the gut of Reno Diamond. He's on the ground, doubled over. Bishop Cage, the monster, the human juggernaut, getting some air in those big lungs. Oh, and he's telling Reno Diamond to suck it. Reno Diamond slowly getting back to his feet. He's Bishop Cage, line him up. Goes for a spear, but he ducks it. Or he jumps over and kind of catches him. He caught him with a knee. And now on the attack to the back, and that's another way of attacking a monster, breaking his back. Lower back has to carry so much weight, and Reno Diamond's going to do what he can to weaken it up. And he's now kick, just throwing as many kicks as he can get in there. Committed to wrestling heavyweight championship. Of course, these guys are going to leave it all on the line here. Bishop Cage kind of actually was getting a little too hot in the ring. And here comes Reno Diamond over the tower. Oh, but he caught him. Be. And drives his back into the steel post. Bishop Cage is so unstoppable. He shrugs off any hit he can. He has a, is that a Coke can? Oh, he's going to serve a Coke. Oh. Oh, that's a bad, that's a perfectly good way to Coke, man. Right across the head, and he's picking Reno Diamond up. Throws him back into the ring over the top rope that takes power and strength. Come on, man. That's not even fair. Reno Diamond. Won't cover one, two. Oh, Mr. Marco Rose. Marco Rose is back out here sitting with us. Bishop Cage is on the attack here. And... Got him in the corner. Oh, oh my. <sighs> Even our commissioner just held his chest. That's how hard that, that is. These slides. Bishop Cage on the attack. Super kick! Super kick! Reno Diamond out of nowhere with the super kick. Shades of Shawn Michaels, man. The crowd loves this kind of action. This is committed to wrestling. You're going to only see this kind of action here. Reno Diamond pulling Reno himself. Diamond it looks like he's there. trying to get himself on the ropes here. Sizing up. He's waiting for Bishop Cage to get to his feet. Flips over. Runs up against the rope. Spear! Oh, God, what a spear! That would break any normal man in half. I think Reno just got broken half. Reno Diamond right in front of us. What a spear by Bishop Cage. And these two, Bishop Cage coming to hunt his prey some more. Get, 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 Stalking please, Reno Diamond. Please get just scooping him up off the ground. Rolls him back into the ring. Bishop Cage getting the cover. One, two. That is nothing but instinct driving Reno Diamond right now. Kicking out after a spear like that. It's heart. It's a lot of heart right there. Reno, does, Reno wants to win. Bishop Cage going, getting back to his feet. Reno Diamond can't know where he is right now after taking that spear. The straps are coming down from straps. Bishop Cage. He's going for another spear. He's going to go for another spear. Bishop Cage lining up his target. Goes after the spear but misses and is, drives his shoulder into the steel post. This is the opening Reno Diamond needs. 
Slidy baseball kick to the outside goes Bishop Cage onto the ground and Reno needs to use this time to get some breath in those lungs after taking this the nasty spear. He needs to get some good uses, breath in there. to come back. Here we go, folks. Some hard kicks from Reno Diamond to Bishop Cage. Shoves him into that ring, steel ring post. And I think I saw the ring move about two feet just from the power of Bishop Cage. Reno to the top rope. What can he be looking for? Diamond bomb! What a diamond bomb! People have been put away by this. He's got to get the cover. He's got to get that cover right now. Cover him, Reno. Is that going to be enough cover to take him, Reno. down Reno? Cover one, two, and he gra He grabbed the ropes. Bishop Cage with ring general knowledge right there as he grabs the rope. An act of desperation. The only thing he had left was grabbing that rope after taking a diamond bomb. Bringing Bishop Cage back to the feet. Bishop is stunned right now. He doesn't know where he is. Reno backing him into the corner. Reversal. Reno on the attack here. Spear! Another spear! My God! Cover! One, two, three! Bishop Cage is going to get the win, but his foot was on his the foot was on it. His foot was on it. His foot Bishop was on Cage the calling for his title. The ref counted three, but didn't but see foot Reno's on rope. foot on the rope here. Bishop Cage is your new committed to wrestling champion. We cannot have a match finish like this. His foot was on the rope. The ref didn't like see that. it. He was out of position. Our commissioner is in shock right now. Marco Rose, our commissioner, is going to have some words with Slick here. Here, let's hear from our commissioner. Reno Diamond is beside himself. His foot was on the rope. So His foot was on the rope. Marco is going to let the decision stand of the referee. And that's going to be it, folks. Your new committed to wrestling champion is Bishop Cage, and he is sulking in in the moment. He is letting the moment sink in. Marco is still having some words here with Slick. Looks like Marco is going to have a sidebar here with Slick. I don't think this is the last we're going to see of Reno Diamond and Bishop Cage. Marco and Slick are going to the back. So is Reno. I guess Bishop Cage is going to stand in the center of the ring with his committed to wrestling think, world. I think, they're going to go, I think they're going to go look, at, look it over and see what, what happened possibly. Bishop Cage in the center of the ring with his title, letting people know what he thinks. Bishop Cage throwing the shoulder over his or throwing the title over his shoulder here. And it looks like he is going to head to the back. That's going to be it, folks, I think, for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Wait a no, minute. Not, Marco Rose is back we're out here. here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see what Marco has to say. Get your photo shots, get your cameraman, get your praise, 
Looks like Marco's still standing by his word here. Hang on. He said but. Is he saying what I think he's going to be saying? What a development for August 25th, committed to wrestling destiny. Bishop Cage is going to be putting on his new committed to wrestling championship against, against Austin Towers. Against uh, the seven foot tall monster, the Marco Rose guy. Austin Towers here. The fan is the fans here are on their feet. They are excited to see. Looks like Bishop Cage is going to have some words here for Austin Towers. The benefits of being a Marco Rose guy. You get an automatic title shot. Eddie! I know Eddie Murphy! 